this nation was attacked. It wasn't only the murder of 3,000 Americans that occurred in that day. And it wasn't only the destruction of the Pentagon and the World Trade Center. It was also an attempt to destroy an idea. That idea is American liberty, a liberty that we cherish and that many people across the globe have attempted to emulate. When those young people in 1989 talked about the world that they want to change in China, what did they build? It wasn't an Eiffel Tower. It wasn't a plaque for the Prophet Muhammad. It was the Statue of Liberty. Because that beacon of light is one that shines across the globe. And it's one that people want to emulate everywhere in, a, in, this, uh, in this extraordinary world in which we live. The Harbor League stands for that liberty. The Harbor League is an attempt to give people back, backbone, to remember the essential principles on which this country was founded. When we talk about the founding of America, we are talking about limited government, the rule of law, individual rights, our constitution, Americanism. And that is the basis for the Harbor League and what the Harbor League stands for. It's to give people backbone. In fact, I'm reminded of a story of a Southern preacher who's giving a sermon on the end of days. And in the sermon, he says to his congregation, ladies and gentlemen, the end of days, there will be crying, there will be wailing, and there will be the gnashing of teeth. And he says it again. They'll be crying, they'll be wailing, there'll be the gnashing of teeth. An old man sitting in the front of the church says, preacher, I don't have any teeth. How can I gnash teeth if I don't have any? Preacher thinks for a moment and says, when the end of days comes, teeth will be provided. <laughs> well, one of the things that's true about the Harbor League is we provide teeth. We provide backbone. We provide a bite. And the purpose behind the Harbor League is to give people a sense that we in the United States are privileged to have individual rights and liberties that people around the globe would like to emulate. 